The land of Termina is full of life and culture, but during the plot of Majora's Mask, it becomes a dark and eerie setting, plaguing countless inhabitants with hardship and despair. Even those supposedly unaffected by Majora's and the Skull Kid's influence are still doomed to the inevitable apocalypse. This alone makes Majora's Mask an emotional experience for players. Still, there is a character whose life was already complicated enough before the Skull Kid and Majora were unleashed onto the land. This character is Kremia. Kremia is a red-headed young woman who has managed Romani Ranch and taken care of her younger sister, Romani, since the death of their father. As a teenager, Kremia suddenly had to take on a multitude of responsibilities and struggled to provide for herself and her sister. To make matters worse, the conniving Gorman brothers, who run a competing business, took advantage of Kremia's situation to sabotage her business. They start by sneaking onto Romani Ranch at night and destroying their milk and Chateau Romani inventory, then eventually escalate to blockading the route to Romani Ranch with large boulders, completely crippling Kremia's ability to bring in revenue from Clock Town. While Kremia is dealing with this, her little sister, Romani, begins training with a bow and arrow in preparation for aliens coming in on an upcoming night to abduct their cows. Thinking her sister has an overactive imagination, she dismisses Romani's claims and continues her work along the ranch. However, this leaves Romani to defend the ranch alone. Unable to fend off the aliens, Romani gets abducted along with all the cows in the barn. Fortunately, she is returned to the ranch in the morning, but is left utterly traumatized. She's found roaming around the southwestern side of the ranch, unable or completely unwilling to speak. That night, Romani goes to bed unusually early without even having dinner with her sister. Meanwhile, Kremia is in the barn, mourning, regretting not have taken Romani seriously. Because Romani went to bed early, Kremia is left to eat dinner alone. We can tell she's blaming herself for not keeping Romani safe and is forced to figure out how she'll provide for themselves when they're now left with a ranch without any cattle. The next day, Kremia's close friend, Anju, and her family take refuge at the ranch in an attempt to flee from the upcoming apocalypse. That night, Kremia and Romani are still mourning together at the dining room table. These would be their final moments before the moon crashes into the land. However, through the story of Majora's Mask, Link journeys through time and can change the course of recent events. Three days before the moon will fall, Link can use a powder keg to clear the boulders blocking the road to Romani Ranch that was placed there by the Gorman brothers. Link is then able to meet Kremia, who will become excited once realizing that she can make deliveries to Clock Town again. Romani, who had been caring for Link's horse, Epona, recruits Link to help her fend off the aliens coming that night. This time, the aliens are successfully fought off and Romani doesn't end up getting abducted like she would in timelines where Link doesn't come to aid. The following day, Kremia is busy milking the cows so she can make an evening delivery to town for the first time in a while. Romani insists she will join her older sister on her trip to town, but Kremia insists Romani stay home, most likely so that somebody is home in case the Gorman brothers try to sneak onto the ranch for devious reasons. If Link enters the barn during their conversation, Kremia will make Romani stay home but invite Link to join her on the ride to town. At 6 p.m., Kremia prepares for departure to Clock Town. By 7 p.m., she and Link depart. Just before leaving, she tells Link she feels lonely and welcomes his company. It can be inferred from this that although Kremia loves her sister, she's exhausted having to be more of a parental figure to Romani than a sister, and could possibly even view her as a chore rather than family. During the ride, Kremia opens up to Link about her troubles. She begins by explaining how she's been trying to single-handedly take care of the ranch since their father's death, but managing it has become increasingly unstable for her lately. She claims she isn't aware it's the Gorman brothers who are sabotaging her business. Still, she tells Link that someone is frazzling the cows and destroying their stored bottles. Even though Kremia doesn't tell Link she suspects the Gorman brothers are behind these atrocities, she likely does. This is made more apparent as Link and Kremia approach Milk Road. They notice that the road has been suddenly blockaded by a new fence, forcing them to take a detour through the Gorman brothers' property. Kremia hesitates and tells Link to get his bow ready, indicating she expects the upcoming ambush. She also likely knows they're not only attempting to put them out of business, but also willing to inflict physical harm. Fortunately, Link can fend off the bandits pursuing them, allowing Kremia to make her delivery to Latte, the milk bar. After delivering the cargo, 
She thanks Link and rewards him with a copy of Romani's mask, typically used as a membership card to enter Latte. She then tells Link, By doing one good deed, a child takes one step closer to adulthood. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. The bomber's notebook entry for the Romani's mask describes it as a symbol of maturity. Based on this, Kremia likely recognizes Link's maturity despite his age. However, in alternative timelines, if Link already has the Romani's mask, Kremia will sometimes reward Link with a special hug. Hylia, what I would give to be Link right now. This is a rather great turn of events, but if Link doesn't ride with Kremia that evening, Romani will point out a sad truth that even Link can't change. If Link visits Romani while Kremia is gone, she'll express her frustration with her sister for not letting her go to town. Then Romani pauses, making a sad face, and says she knows Kremia has someone in town she likes, but that person is supposed to get married on the day of the carnival, which makes it emotionally difficult for Kremia to go into town. This person is Cafe, who is engaged to Anju, Kremia's dear friend. If dealing with her father's death, having to single-handedly raise her little sister, and fending off crooks aiming to destroy her livelihood wasn't enough to make her life miserable, watching her best friend marry the man she was in love with would. Kremia specifically mentions how Anju is getting married soon. Too soon. Making it clear she's not ready to deal with this reality. And to make Kremia's situation somehow even worse, some people in Clocktown had been spreading rumors since Cafe's disappearance, claiming that he had run off with Kremia. Now it should be clear why going into town is so emotionally challenging for her. She has to deal with heartbreak, and people slandering her regarding false rumors about such a sensitive matter to her. So even though Link was able to prevent Romani from being abducted by aliens and protect one delivery of Kremia's goods, her life is sadly still in shambles. On the final day, Kremia and Romani are in the barn milking for Chateau Romani, their magically intoxicating milk beverage. Romani is particularly excited because Kremia is allowing her to finally drink Chateau Romani for the first time. Although excited, Romani is confused because she was always told she needed to be an adult to drink it, so she asks Kremia why she can now. Kremia hesitates, unsure how to answer, then tells Romani that she's now seeing Romani as an adult. At the end of their conversation, Kremia asks Romani to sleep with her in her bed that night. At first, this may not seem that significant, but this is actually one of the saddest moments in Termino. Kremia is fully aware of the impending doom that everyone is facing, and that even they won't be safe from the moon's destruction. Knowing this, she decides to have Romani drink with her to protect her from the grave reality of what's happening. What's heartbreaking about this is that Romani is having the time of her life oblivious to their impending deaths. Yet, simultaneously, Kremia knows exactly what's coming and pushes aside her fear and sorrow to make her sister's death as painless as she can make it. Kremia is genuinely a selfless character who does not get the accreditation she deserves. And regardless of whether Link aids them before saving Termina, Kremia's life will continue to be tragically difficult. But in her own words, that's how life goes. There are some things in life that you can't change no matter how hard you try. If you enjoyed my take on this story, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more Zelda content. Thanks for watching, Zelda out.